Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of Zombicide Black Plague. Um, we got this from War Games in Southport. We did indeed. Go and visit them. It we was went really to... cool. It's yeah. a really good shop. If you've not been there, go and take a look. Yeah, definitely go and visit. Yeah, I think we're going to go down on the 30th of April. 30th so, of April, yeah. yeah. So, uh... There's a big board game uh, convention going on. Like, he's doing a, a whole game, a whole day of oh. board games. <laughs> Apparently the biggest game of Zombicide ever is going to be there. So yeah. if you like Zombicide, go and take a look. Get yourself down there. So last time we were in, a um, couple of weeks ago, last month, we actually played a game of Zombicide, the bog standard Zombicide, which is like um, an up-to-date version of, like, yeah. a bit like The Walking Dead, isn't it, in a way, really? Yeah, Martin was good enough to show us how it works. He uh, was, yeah. I know Zombicide has been out for a while, we haven't had a chance to play it. <clears> um, mm -hmm. So it was quite good to have a look at it. Yeah. And... Um, he was telling us yeah. about this coming out. He was telling us that Black Plague was coming out, and it's a medieval version of Zombicide. I was quite interested in that because I like me historical kind of thing, me medieval kind of thing. Yeah, so you like the, you like the dark ages. Yeah, I like the alternate version of it yeah. kind of thing. So we decided to um, wait and get this one instead. Mm -hmm. So we have the Zombicide Black Plague. Here it is. I think we're lucky to get it actually. It was the last one we had in the shop. It was. But I'm sure he's getting more in. So. Yeah. And besides, it depends on when we put this video up. We'll probably have more in mind. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you yeah. if you want to shop at War Games, uh, ask Mar ask for Martin. He'll mm -hmm. sort you out with some zombie side. I'm sure. Yeah. I think he had. I think he was getting some of the um, add-on add-on packs as yeah. well. Is it Wolfsburg or Wolf yeah. something like that? Wolfsburg or something. Yeah. Yeah, we need that as well. So we don't do. run buy that for <laughs> us. Oh, I'm not kidding. Go on. Fine. <laughs> we'll get to it eventually. Right. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Mm -hmm. There's the full box art. Sorry about the glare again. Uh, we've got uh, Cool Mini or Not, excellent, there, and Guillotine Games, and it's really cool box art. It's, it, it, it looks It's really very eye catching. Yeah. Like it. It's very good. Different. Uh, if we turn that very heavy box over, it is very heavy. It's like the um, same heaviness as the original Imperial Assault box mm. or Armada box. Uh, you can see the back there. Whereabouts. Whereabouts. Zombie Side of Black Plague. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, the contents. So. That's the box. Let's mm -hmm. open it up. So, uh, you start there. I'll start here. Yeah, my nails aren't strong enough to be fair. <laughs> so, right, I'm in. Are you in? I've got a corner. Oh, there we go. Mm. So, I'm going to keep knocking the camera. Oh, I'm going to tear the wrapping paper off like a child on Christmas morning. <laughs> And then we're going to lift this up. Hopefully, gravity will help me. No, gravity doesn't want to help me. Claire's helping instead. My ancient instead. nemesis gravity. <laughs> Never rely on it. There we go. There is the zombie side rules and quests. Book. Quite thick book. Mm. Oh, thick this. Oh, cool. So, a very cool sort of presentation, isn't really. Yeah. So let's uh, take that out. Mm. Oh, so these will be oh, the... Those will be the box. The, um... The tiles. The tiles and, and stuff, everything. yeah. So they are there. Then we have a box within a box. Which presumably means she's in this box. So, there we go. <coughs> we oh, that's funky! Here. We've got the miniatures here. We've got um, <laughs> colored counters for the miniatures. Because they're all coming a single color plastic, this brown. Uh, I think the originals are in different colours, but that's why we've got these little things here. We've got dice, let me say dice. There's some little tokens, which I assume are for these things. Then we have a whole bunch of cards, it's like weapons. And then we have these, which aren't in the originals on the side, I don't think. As far as I know, I don't no, think there are any expansions. Uh, so you have here, you've got where your card goes, where your uh, weapons go and any power ups and stuff there. And I've obviously you've got your, your meter at the bottom for keeping track of how many zombies are coming on. Uh, and then we have the models, so let's move these out. Like so and let's have a look at some of these hero models. So there is I don't know. Um William Wallace, I'm not sure. What's the other? It's my well, we've got. 
Are these the heroes' <laughs> names? Have you got them? Yeah, I've got the heroes' names. I'm just trying to link it up with... No. no, it's definitely not a girl. That one? Silas. Silas? Silas. Do you think that's Silas? Looks like Silas with the... Yes, I'd yeah. say so. There he is. He's got a bow, hasn't he? Yeah. There he is. It's a Silas. Kind of looks like an elf. Definitely. Probably not an elf, because I think they're all human. But kind of looks like an elf. No, I think he's an elf, because he's is got... He an elf? Yeah, he's got pointy ears. I don't know, I thought they were all meant to be humans. Maybe I'm wrong. Pointy ears. I don't think this might be historically accurate then, Claire. Sorry. No, I don't think it Not is. Never mind. <laughs> we have Nelly. Nelly. I saw her on the way. Nelly. Nelly. She's cool. I like a broadsword. <laughs> it's awesome. We have Moses <laughs> with a sword. What's his name? Um, Baldrick. Baldrick. I don't really like Baldrick. But no, but it's a cool name. Yeah. So he's he's like, like the wizard type, you know what I mean? <clears throat> he is. Yeah. What else have we got? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Got sister Anne. Sister Anne. Be better if she was called Anna, so you could call her sister Anna Anna Banner. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> A nun with two swords. Yep. Not quite sure how the church would feel about that. <laughs> but I suppose it's a zombie apocalypse. We needs must. Who's this guy? Uh, Clovis. Clovis. So yeah, guy with two swords. Quite a lot of armour. That was quite handy in a fight. And we have um, the last, last guy. guy. He's definitely some sort of dwarf. He's called Samson. He's awesome. I like him. I think I'm going to play him <laughs> as him. Probably. He's cool. Cool. And then we have the zombies. So I, I think this is the abomination. Abomination thing. guy, yeah. This guy is huge. Huge. And we have uh, the necromancer. The necromancer. Those are pretty cool models, these mm. as well, aren't they? They are actually really well Quite detailed. Like yeah. Yeah. And then we have. Uh, Those are called fatties, aren't fatties. they? Fatties. There's one there. Rah. The camera's not focusing very well on that. There we go. I think a, that's another one. There's another fatty. <laughs> doing air guitar. <laughs> holding his guts in. Oh, holding his guts in, one of the two. So those are runners. Yep, I'd definitely say they're runners. Mm -hmm. Quite creepy that one. <laughs> Freaky. Yeah. And those are just walkers. And then you've got they? your normal Shufflers. zombies. There we go, some normal zombies though. These are quite cool actually. This one too, right? So that's the top set. And then um, we have a whole second set of zombies here. Very similar. I think a lot of them are just like clones. I think they're all clones of each other. Yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a whole box basically of zombies. Uh, the same ones that we've already shown you. Mm -hmm. So cool. We shall uh, have a look at them and paint mm -hmm. them later on. What we've also got, we got from War Games. Some of these. Ooh. Uh, we've got these little acrylic bases. Because we saw the ones on display, they were on acrylic bases, they look great. It's going to be a bit of a faff to take these off. What we're going to do, we're going to replace them with acrylics. And there is the base. The, I'm not taking it out of its thing yet, but it's a see through base. So you'll be able to see the board sections. And they look really good with them, to be fair. I'd be tempted if I hadn't already done my Imperial Assault stuff to do that with them, but I'm not going to cut them off the bases now, I don't think. I'll just get really bored later on. So let's have a look at the uh, card and stuff. So that's the thickness of the card. Call to the card, it's quite good. It's not bending at all, though. The printing's quite good. Sort of a matte finish. It's sort of textured. So if you've not seen them, quite good quality are. Yep, so those are the counters and you get two lots of those mm -hmm. by the looks of it. You've got another set there. I've got another set here that I've just started. Um, so there's the other set. There's the other set of counters. So these are the board sections. You see they've got like streets and then hovels. Uh, looks like a, some sort of doctor's 
thing that my morning would sit in. And then we have like part of a church or something there. Uh, looks like it. And we have some other board sections. There. All double sided to make up different types of maps. And then some more there. Got some steps on that and some broken ornaments and statue there. So I can top it. Crossway there with uh, not very good going on <laughs> in the top corner. Actually, doesn't like something very good going on there either. <laughs> and again, all very cool tiles. It's like a proper medieval village kind of thing going yeah. on. Yeah. That's the vibe again. And the last one, a T section. And then a little corner. So cool. Cool. So they look pretty good. I look forward to playing this actually. I am actually. It looks yeah. interesting. Considering the uh, other zombie side was really good that we played and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping this is really good. It, it I, don't, I don't see a reason same. why it wouldn't wouldn't be the same pretty much. <clears throat> it's just in a different setting. Yeah. With some cool zombies and stuff. Yeah. So what we're going to do, uh, let's look at these actually before we stop. Those the cards. These are the weapons and stuff. So I'm not expecting any revolvers, newsies, and flamethrowers. <laughs> what we have are hammers, spell cutter, mana blast. So we do have some spells in here. I don't think it's historically accurate, Chuck. Sorry. Aww. Got a short bow, short sword, infernal spell, orcish crossbow. Yeah, I don't think orcs existed in history. Right, okay. Ah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> apples. I, think I thought you were singing a song then, like ah, 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 apples. Staying alive, staying alive. Well, that's it, isn't uh, it? Ah, 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 staying alive. Yeah, that's what they get on missing. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Axes, chain armor, crossbows, daggers, more daggers. Death Strike, that sounds awesome. <laughs> dragon dragon bile. bile. Yeah, it's not historically no. accurate. Even though we all know dragons actually do exist. So we have Poison Dragon's liver. Might be in there. Fireball. Excellent. Great Sword. Sword. Armor. Armor. Armor crossbow. Healing. Invisibility leather armor. <laughs> uh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, longbow, longbow. Mana oh, blast. Wow. Plate armor. Keeps going. Plenty of arrows, which is like plenty of bullets, I suppose. Um, repeating crossbow, repulse, solid meat. That's what if you're looking for food. Shield, shield, short bow, short sword, speed. That's a spell, <laughs> not a drug. Uh, maybe it's the same thing. Sword, sword, torch. Could be useful if you want flaming zombies. Uh, that might be a cocktail, actually. Water. Water. Water, standard zombies invasion. So these are the those are the red cards, and then you have orange cards, don't you? Yeah. So this is pretty much like <clears throat> they look the same. So they got the four different colours based on what kind of was it aggro? I can't remember. Agro, I think can't remember what it's called. Um, but the four different colours based on whatever stage you, the highest guy is at the, in the group, which is on those boards to the mm. side, uh, which is quite cool. They're on the boards like that. I like that. Um, I think that's what makes up the rest of that one. Then we got some of that. We've got necromancy. Because of the necromancy in it, we've got some necromancy. Spawning a necromancer. Double spawns. Not what you want. Not what you want at all. Yeah. So there we go. Cool. So those are the cards in short. Um, so we were going to be painting these models up. And we're going to put them on see-through acrylic bases, so we can see the, the, the board sections better. Yeah. I've not done that before, so it's <coughs> the first time I've used see-through bases on anything. Yeah, um, it'll be exciting. So it's going to be an interesting experience, <laughs> put it that way. Let's take a close look at one of these, actually. It's quite good, before. actually. I think um, what happens is your extra cards in your pack go in there, stood up. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happens. So I would assume that would go, that would go in there. there. Like that, and then you got your two hand weapons. So you got the hand symbols. That's what it looks like to me. Must be your 
There's your agro meter, or whatever it's called on this. And that's our next door neighbour who can't shut the door properly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really sorry if you hear noises. We've explained this in other videos, there's building work going on next door. And it's been going on for ages, but considering they don't know how to shut a door, I'm not surprised it's been going on for ages. So yeah, so in the, in the thing, those are the heroes. Uh, that's the contents. So there'll be 35 walkers in that pack, 14 fatties, 14 runners, one abomination, one necromancer, six survivor dashboards, six cold survivor bases, um, and six dice, and 48 trackers, which look like they stick into these little holes, these, yeah, these. I would say, for tracking various things. Mm -hmm. Which we'll find that out when we play the game. Yep. Which, if you want to see, please put in the comments, because this is just an unboxing video for, the, for what the contents are. If you want to see us play the game, put it in the comments, we can put it onto the list of things. As I said before, we, we want to do that, but um, there's time constraints and also noise restraints at the moment. Yeah. Um, let's have a quick look at the book. We've got the game overview there, we've got the basics. We'll take us through a little tutorial, hopefully, when we play it. We've got some excellent artwork. <laughs> there is actually. I mean, I wish I'd kick started this, but. It wasn't something that was on my radar at the time. If I if I'd known, I would have definitely kickstarted this because you get a load of That's stuff with it. That's what those are. It's noise. Noise counters. Noise counters. We need a lot of them for this house. At the yeah. Moment. Maybe we get some zombies to come eat the neighbours. Could do. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I might become a necromancer. There we go. Uh, so if there is a zombie apocalypse, it's probably my fault. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, there we go. And then cool. So I presume these are all rules and then we'll get to like a quests sort of section. Mm -hmm. And to do combat. Playing with seven or more survivors, the details on that. Tutorial Quests. And quests here. Brilliant. So we might go through this tutorial mm. in more detail yeah. for anyone who hasn't played it before. I'm not imagining it's going to play much different to the normal zombie side. Um, we've got Quest from Big Game Hunting. Quest 2 is the Black Book. Should have called Necronomicon. Uh, we've got the Shepherds. We've got Famine. There, Quest 4. You can see that. Uh, quest 5 is the Commandery. And then we've got... I can't even read that. Uh, in Kalinji Abitus, I would say that is Latin. I presume it's Latin. And I've murdered it. I wish I could speak Latin. <laughs> Dead Trail. Evil Temple. The Evil Temple. That's not Latin. No, we, we, we can say those. <laughs> the Hell Hole. That's, that's also known as Work. Um, oh. uh, trail by Fire. Well, it's, most people would, would refer to Work as a Hell Hole. <laughs> Trial by fire could also be work. <laughs> and then we have um, skills. Skills, yeah, yeah. And all the skills straight in there. There we go. So this actually seems pretty concise. We mm. had the rules work. We got the rules, quests, and we have a game summary there, which. Looks very similar to Zombie Side. Looking at that, mm. right? But as I said, if you want to see us go through it, please put it in the comments. We will do. In the meantime, we're going to be painting these models and putting them on acrylic basis, so we might just do a little showcase. Yeah, they're nice models. They actually. are actually. They're really different. I'm not sure what the plaster made. It feels different to um, Imperial Assault plastic. Mm. It's Feels a bit crisper to touch. Yeah, but the detail's not. Well, I think the detail is a little right. bit better, maybe. It's not much different, but it's a little bit better. Mm. So. But. It is a form of resin, by the looks of it, but it's not the same kind. I don't think. I do like this guy. This <laughs> necromancer is cool. Everything for necromancers, I think. Though. I think you do. Every yeah. time, oh, necromancer's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, zombie apocalypse will probably be my fault. I do apologise. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. We've yep. rabbited on enough about that. Um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm. If you uh, subscribed, please do. It helps out a lot. 
and um, that's it really like the video helps us out as well so we know you liked it and as I said leave in the comments if you want to see us play it the more comments we see on different videos the more likely we are to play that specific thing <laughs> uh, give that the time that we've got uh, which isn't as much as it used to be um, but there we go and uh, that's it so yeah. thanks for watching thanks see, so much. see you again later guys see you soon and take care bye